Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below. Um, today we're gonna shave my face. Of course, as you see from the title, this is how I shave my face. And hopefully this is an easy tutorial for you. It's a quick step-by-step -step type of skincare routine that I do maybe every two weeks to a month. So continue watching and I'll show you how I get a flawless face underneath my makeup. Okay, step one is you'll need a petroleum jelly or Vaseline type of base. You're gonna take a little bit I'm gonna put it over everywhere I'm going to shave. Now I'm gonna do my brows and my mustache. Just coat that. It doesn't have to be heavy, it can be really light. Um, Vaseline tends to clog pores, so you wanna avoid putting it here, here, you know, up here. I'm gonna put some on my chin because honestly that's my problematic area and that's probably what needs more love. <laughs> so I'm not putting a lot. I'm putting a very light coating, but enough that it protects my skin. You guys are gonna be using a razor. Step two, you have your razor. Now, these guys run for about maybe a dollar or two. Um, they usually come in a pack like this, and you can get it at any CVS, Walgreens, uh, any hair store that you go to. And you can pick that up at like a Sally's or something like that. So you're gonna take the razor, and if it's fresh out of the pack, I will say this, they are very sharp, so please, 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 please be careful with these. These are super sharp. I have used this maybe twice now, so it's a little bit duller, and I'm not too worried that I'm gonna cut myself, but if you do find yourself, you know, buying a, a fresh pack and it's the first time that you're using it, you may want to go very, very slow. Next, you're gonna take a little cotton, flat cotton, cotton pad, <laughs> a cotton pad, and I usually take a little witch hazel, but since we're kinda out of that and you know everything is scarce, I'm gonna use some rubbing alcohol, um, and you can use any kind of brand. Um, I guess a job done, you just wanna disinfect your razor if you use it already, which I have, so I'm gonna disinfect it. Um, if you haven't, it's a brand new one, you don't have to worry about it. But it's always good to keep the alcohol handy because you're gonna need it, you know, when you're done shaving your face. And I'll show you obviously what I mean by that. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that. I'm gonna just clean the razor a little bit. Get that nice and disinfected. Now, this is the crucial part because now we're gonna start using our razor. So I usually start with my brows, which is pretty easy for me. I don't really go too hard. And I kind of just follow my brow shape. I kind of manipulate my brow shape anyway. I'm gonna take my razor and I'm just going to lightly brush across the bottom just so I can get like the little stragglers. So it's nice and clean. And I go over it, go over it, go over it very lightly. I can't even speak. I take another cotton um, pad and I just wipe off the excess, that way you have a clean razor going forward. So I'm just gonna 
kind of rake down the razor on my brow so I can kind of shave off the excess hair up top, but kind of give it that clean shape there. And that made a world of difference. That's so crazy. So we're gonna do the next eye. Ew. Can you see that? Does it focus? I don't know if you can see that, but that's kind of gross. You'll really see it when I like shave my face. Child, it's disgusting. <laughs> now that we have cleaned up the brows, um, we're gonna go down to the mustache area. And we're just gonna, I like to take my tongue and kind of just push out a top there. That way I get every single strand. So watch. That way I get every single thing and you can kind of, Okay, so now I'm going to hit my jawline, which is the most important part. So I kind of go up a little bit so I can catch all these peach fuzz hairs down here. And you'll see a huge difference in just the complexion in itself. So every time, every time you use your razor from your, you know, top lip, I wanna say mustache so bad, that sounds so bad. So top lip, your brows, um, you wanna disinfect as you go on. So you don't wanna just keep going. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You wanna, you know, grab a cotton pad, put some disinfectant on it. Is it disinfectant? Um, you want some rubbing alcohol, so then disinfect the razor. That way when you use it on a different part, it doesn't give you bumps, if that makes sense. I kinda am gonna take you step by step so you don't have razor bumps. So don't worry about getting bumpy or, you know, um, irritation. If you are sensitive to razors, please don't do it. <laughs> but if you aren't, this is your go-to, especially while quarantine. And I'm not a waxer, so this is gonna have to do. So we're gonna start from here and I'm gonna just, gently rake gently rake across and I'm not gonna go higher than this because I'm not really shaving my like whole face we're not like dermablade is it dermablading it's microblading microblading we're not microblading so this is Can you see that? Holy crap. I'm gonna grab a new one of these. Put that down. I'm just gonna go back. And if you do get a little bumpy, like I'm starting to get like a little bump here, very small, um, no worries. What we're gonna do next is going to calm everything down and you won't even see that. So we're gonna keep going, keep going. Oh my god, and you should see what comes off. Oh, gross, 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 gross. I'm gonna do the other side. It's kind of satisfying when you kind of can feel it grabbing the hair. Oh, disgusting. So I kind of get down here as well. Your girl gets hair re. Oh my god. 
I keep showing you guys like you can see off the razor, but it's just, it's just so, so fascinating what comes off your face, even after you wash, you tone, you moisturize and everything. Like, obviously I did my skincare, so it's kind of like, okay, my face is clean, but girl, like, the stuff that comes off this thing after I like, you know, shave my face is like insane. I kind of like to hit down here. <laughs> Don't judge me. Okay, second step. We're gonna go back to the alcohol. I'm gonna put a little bit, just a little bit, nothing crazy, because you don't want to dry out your face. My face is completely dry right now. I slept with the window open, so I'm all screwed up, but it's okay. Skincare first. I'm gonna take a little bit. We're gonna lightly oh! Okay. <sighs> we're gonna lightly stroke one time because it does burn. And then I'll fold it over, take the other side and just just Quickly, um, you just want to disinfect. It takes all that nastiness, you know, from the razor off your face and the petroleum jelly or the Vaseline that you used. So now that my face is touched up, razored, whatever, shaved, um, we're gonna go to step three and we're gonna put a mask over the areas that you shave. That way you don't get any inflammation, any razor bumps, redness, so you can put your makeup afterwards, and we're good to go. We're gonna be using the Azteca, I keep saying Azteca, it's Aztec Secret. Um, I got this from Harmons. I believe you can grab this off of Amazon. I'll link the price below. And um, I usually use this maybe once a week and you can mix this with apple cider vinegar, but I usually mix it with a little bit of water and it gets the job done. Um, it's deep cleansing. So I literally take a little bit, I'll put it in a little container like such with a little water in it. You don't need much at all. I'm gonna sprinkle. Just sprinkle it. I'm gonna mix it a little bit. I wanna mix it in a glass bowl. Um, it's supposed to help with, I guess, how it works. I need a little bit more. And this brush is just a regular foundation brush that I just use for my mask. It's just a lot easier. Um, it's from Luxy. I love Luxy brushes, they're amazing. I own a ton of Loopsy brushes, so if you see me doing tutorials, most of my brushes are So you kind of want it to be the consistency. You want it to be a little thick, but not too thick. Like this is a little bit watery, so I'm just gonna put a smidge more. Like literally. I'll do more of this Just mix it like such. And this consistency is fine. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a little bit on the brush and we're gonna put it everywhere that you shaped. And it's so cooling that even after you shave, like it feels, it feels so good. And you don't have to put a thick amount. I usually put a thicker amount because I really don't want any bumps. But you really don't have to Hold it so bad. <laughs> I know it looks crazy, but trust me, the process is so worth it. And you'll feel like a little tingliness 
where you put it on and that's perfectly fine. That has nothing to do with you shaving. Um, it kind of does that when you put the mask on anywhere. It's supposed to pulsate and it's like deep penetration into your pores and stuff like that. So, you know. This mask is amazing, first of all. You can put it in your hair. You can put it like everywhere. I look crazy right now. But you guys have to trust the process. I'm just gonna put a little bit more because I mixed a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna put that all here. I'm just gonna put a little bit there. So crazy. It's like painting your face. So it's just all the areas that you shaved. How you doing? And you don't have to leave this mask on long. Once it dries, you can just rinse it off. Okay. So now that we are dry, we are going to wash off and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we are all washed, we're prepped, skincare is done. Our face is ready. Now, if you want to apply makeup, this is the time you can. If not, just have a regular fresh face type of day. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Join the fam. There's weekly videos, and you don't want to miss anything.